All right, everybody. I got the nose strip on because I'm opening up my nose because I've had a broken nose and I used to be a mouth breather. I used to be a, you know, a serial mouth breather and I was a detriment to society and I was a harm to myself, my loved ones. And I was just out of control. I was screwing up my face. You know, I w wasn't getting good sleep. I wasn't recovering from my workouts. I'd be choking all night, you know, breathing, just essentially suffocating all throughout the night. So when people laugh and make fun, say, oh, that doesn't do anything, they're actually incorrect. It's not a miracle drug, right? It doesn't solve all your problems and make you the most handsome man in the world. But what it does is it gives you an opening there at your cartilage and it helps you to reinforce that good behavior that breathing through the nose, right? Breathing deep into the belly, into the diaphragm, poking the stomach out, right? Heaven forbid we have our stomach stick out at all. You can't, you gotta suck it in, right? Like a 1970s bodybuilder. But that's not what you wanna do. You wanna extend that bad boy. You wanna fill it up with air, take your breath into your belly. And that's how you oxygenate your system. That's how you really breathe. So I really don't care how I look if I'm saturating my system with oxygen, I'm doing the right thing, I'm breathing through my nose, that's what I wanna do, and you should too. So, some people just naturally breathe through their nose. That's totally fine. Some people like me have sustained injuries, or they just were never taught at a young age the importance of breathing through your nose, because it's not taught in school, because they don't really teach you anything of substance or value, they just kinda of teach you pointless stuff they're actually not pointless they teach you things so you're a good employee and you're a good peasant but they don't actually you know like breathing through your nose you know not being a consumer you know producing not consuming there's basic principles like that but i'm trying to go on a side tangent so breathing through your nose is super super important and totally random, but this video is not really about that. It is about optimal sources of protein because this is just a big deal on the internet. Everybody talks about this protein is the most optimal. You can only do this protein, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm gonna give you my hot take on this. You can build muscle with any form of protein, okay? Any form of protein on the planet, you can build muscle. It's just about what is the most efficient. Okay, and I'll use the analogy like an elevator and stairs. Like let's say you're trying to go to the top of the Eiffel Tower and you can use the stairs or you can use the elevator. So with a vegan diet, you're like, okay, so you look, your thinking moves ahead and you're like, I wanna build as much muscle as possible. What can I use? I can use animal protein or plant protein. You can get there with plant protein but it's like taking the stairs to the top of the building you can do it I'm not saying it's impossible so people that say it's impossible are dumb that's incorrect it's just very 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 inefficient animal protein is going to get you there much quicker it's just taking the elevator you go in there you push the button boop and you start ascending you start ascending to your goals so the you know the vegan protein is it's a crazy debate because it's just not as efficient. It's not as efficient. I'm not talking about long-term health effects. I'm not talking about cancer reduction risk. I'm not talking about any of those things. That's a very nuanced, complicated subject. I'm purely talking about building muscle. So animal protein is just very full in amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, valine, histidine, all these different Amino acids, it's very high in them, whereas plant protein is typically pretty low in amino acids. So you have to consume more and more and more, right? And it's just not sustainable. Like the amount of black beans you have to eat. Like I was vegan for maybe almost a year and the amount of black beans I had to eat, like I would have to eat like four cups at every meal and just the gastrointestinal distress and the, your body's ability to digest it and just the pure volume of food is just crazy. And I did it. I literally blended black beans in a smoothie and I would not recommend. 
it's not it's not a way to live it's not a way to live you can just have some steak boom it's just nice and small it tastes great it's easy to consume it's your body digests it perfect it's highly recommend so guys it's just about efficiency so you can build muscle with plant protein but is it efficient do you want to eat 10 cups of black beans every day and possibly be farting all the time and just kind of have a bloated gut and just kind of feel subpar you're not going to feel as good but you could eat some nice quality meat with an appropriate amount of vegetables quality carbohydrates and fill in the gaps with the vitamins and minerals as needed and that's just going to get you to your goal so much quicker this isn't about humane issues this isn't about animal cruelty this isn't about you know long-term health effects individual indiv individual variants in cancer risk high blood pressure diabetes there's so much that goes into that this is purely for muscle building so animal protein is the way to go it's the rocket it's the elevator it's the fast car to get to your destination. It's, it's what you need to do and you need to be efficient. And it's just not wise to use plant protein to build muscle optimally, optimally and efficiently. So I hope this helps. And this isn't just some guy that gets on here and speaks hypothetical crap. I was vegan for a period of my life and I was dedicated and I worked out and I ate tons of black beans and tons of quinoa and I had pea protein and I was for reference I'm about 188 right now and when I was vegan I was like 170 and I was just struggling I was kind of skinny I just didn't feel strong I mean I was surviving you can survive but you're not being optimal so take it from me I've actually been vegan I've actually done the crap I'm saying, so I would highly not recommend it. And just be efficient and use animal protein. Find the right animal proteins for you. Make sure you're getting enough micronutrients in conjunction with the protein. So your zinc, copper, magnesium, vitamin D, calcium, all very, very important. And we'll save that for another video, but build muscle efficiently and just be efficient be a machine be a savage get gains in the gym and just do it the right way so just save the vegan diet for someone else that's all i gotta say i hope this helps somebody out there and you guys have a fantastic day